It's time for a segment called Small Town News. Alan! Oh, perfect. <laughs> We're just small town dudes with small town news. Breaking stories of crimes committed you never do. Mind your P's and Q's or they'll cover you. The town may be small, but the news is huge. All right, my friend, I have found us something interesting. Uh, I know a lot of times we like to uh, scour the webs for, you know, crazy accents or just crazy stories. I just found this one to be cool in a weird way. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Something I might want to be a part of. Really? Something timely. Something going on. And it's country-ish. I'll read you the headline. Preppers called crazy now expect to sell out their West Virginia survivalist compound. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's a West Virginia compound. Now, this is something that my dad would have loved because he's been ready since Y2K. He had all the... <laughs> yeah. He was ready. There's, we still have a room full of stuff from Y2K. We got honey that we've not touched. We got lots of jars of honey. So if you're, <laughs> during this pandemic, if you uh, run out of honey, let me know. Okay. Well, I got family in West Jefferson. They're oh, the yeah, same way. Yeah. They're ready. They're ready for this. Well, why don't we just watch this okay. and, and enjoy this little news story right here. There is a community in West Virginia that is prepared for the coronavirus. Today, we talked with what many people call the doomsday preppers. There is actually a survivalist community in West Virginia. It is built, allegedly, to outlast a major pandemic. Fox Eye Stephanie Ramirez got a look inside. Guys, this is 42 Ranch in West Virginia. The staff here tells me they've been preparing for a major crisis for about seven years now. And now that we're talking about coronavirus, well, the staff says they're ready to go. From its conception, that's its <laughs> very purpose. It goes along with our motto, prepare for the worst, enjoy the present. COO and operations manager Stephen Rene says for safety reasons, they don't want to say how many people they can hold or where exactly they're located. He does say Fortitude Ranch is a 100-acre survivalist compound okay. located in the foothills. Let's take a break. Uh, just pause it for one second. Uh, I feel like conspiracy is involved here. I feel like this is where he was... He could, you think he was? You Zoom think he was in that that little hut? Uh, is a deer? <laughs> is that a, a deer? That looks blind? like one of them uh, uh, walkers from Star Wars that walks <laughs> through, like, <laughs> steps on Ewoks. Yeah. What do you call them? Well, Imperial Storm yeah. Walkers. What are they called? Uh, Alan, you, I forgot. Uh, oh gosh, uh, they're you know, like uh, at at something. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know. What you're oh, talking about. the little yeah, ones yeah. are like on, uh, 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 Return of the Jedi. I think it's the at ats. Yeah. AT-ATs. AT oh, what, what, what's the big one I'm thinking of? Imperial uh, Stormtroopers. Big AT-AT. I, I don't know the, oh, I don't okay. remember the name. Well, of you the guys have really, well, we're you really like slacked Star off knowledge. on the Star Wars knowledge. We're losing the ish and getting more country. No. <laughs> so anyway, yes, conspiracy. I bet you he's in there somewhere. And... Uh, <clears throat> Did we see the guy's uniform? Or what was he like? He kind of. I'd like to look at him again because it kind of. It kind of looked like everything I thought he would be, <laughs> but he's got a nice. You know, he's got a patch and everything. Yeah, there's some sort of uniform here. Um, missing a patch on the right side yeah. to the little buttonhole, but he's got oh. one over here. I'm not sure what it says. He kind of looks like a character that Mike Judge would have drawn, <laughs> and Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. You know, like this guy would have been the one that's like. He looks like that hippie. Uh, teacher in Beavis and Butthead, like, guys, you need to really be focused on, you know, uh, he looks a little bit like that. But, you know, maybe looks I, are deceiving. Like this name. guy might be onto something here. What's his name? Stephen no, well, Rene. Stephen Rene. Don't walk away, Rene. <laughs> Fortitude um, Ranch. CEO. He's the chief operating officer. He is the CEO of the ranch. Now, when you start using the word compound, that gets dangerous. Right. You get some David Koresh going on. That's what I'm thinking. I wouldn't even use the word compound. Yeah, I would. I would make that more friendly. I would say ranch, but then again, Neverland was a ranch. <laughs> that was not safe either. <laughs> I mean, what do you call these things without scaring people away? Maybe that's what you want. You don't want them to come. <laughs> right. You just want your own community in here, yeah. which is great. Um, during a you know there's pandemic and stuff. I guess they said they could survive for seven years. In the beginning, that lady said that. Yeah. 
All right. I do like that. It does look like that's something where Ken's from Star at. Wars. Like that's a redneck Ken's Star Wars, yep. dude. Ken's up there right now. He's listening to us. <laughs> He's got Wi-Fi in there. they got solar power. You know, they're set up. All right, let's continue a little bit. A Fortitude Ranch is a 100-acre survivalist compound located in the foothills of the Shenandoah Mountains in West Virginia. It backs up to the George Washington National Forest. While you can enjoy the present, this is a bed and breakfast for members on its off-seasons. Bunkers, there's two on the property. They're prepared for... Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Can, I, can I jump in here for a minute? Please yes, do. Al. Did you guys note that? It's a bed and breakfast on in the, the off-season. <laughs> Okay, well, number yes, number one, that implies there's a pandemic season. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, there's a season. Uh, because there's an off season, which yeah. implies there's a season. So, yeah, uh, and then a bed and breakfast. Now, that means we could stay there, but we got to find it because they won't I, tell us. I smell a segment. <laughs> yeah, smell a segment. On but the road with this country-ish. Is, uh, <laughs> but this is typical West Virginia, right? I mean, in, yeah. in your business, you got three or four things going on. You got your, yeah. you got your tanning bed, your salon, you got your, every business has got four or five things going oh, on. Yeah, why, that, why would the Fortitude Ranch be? any different <laughs> side right. hustle yes i mean that looks like it's a fallout like a nuclear that's, a, that's war. a nuclear shelter of some kind that looks like one that they built like in the 60s maybe. yeah um pretty interesting except for the wood doors pretty sure uh you know, know about the wood doors maybe there's a during a like a, a nuclear bomb maybe that's explosion. where they park the john deere in and bring it out the most <laughs> right <laughs> yeah okay now yeah, that's interesting so there must be it must be on Airbnb, dude. <laughs> Alan, if it's a, if it's open for bread and breakfast, it's probably on Airbnb. Yeah. And I'm, we can I'm, book a room. I'm going to be looking this up afterwards for oh, sure. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. On the road. Expect, expect a follow-up report on this uh, <laughs> this segment. Yeah, we could do a we could like go there for a whole weekend yeah. and, and uh, you know, do a podcast from there and um, they probably bring us in blindfolded. We probably have to meet somewhere <laughs> and they bring us in. Well, we wouldn't have any Wi-Fi, I bet. No. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. They may have their own. They may be transmitting oh, yeah, their yeah. own towers. Very yeah. encrypted, uh, encrypted Wi-Fi yeah. signal. Yeah, they're doing like illegal pirated radio shows out of there mm-hmm. too. All right, let's continue. Good call. Breakfast from members on its off seasons. Bunkers. There's two on the property. They're prepared to close off to the public with armed guards should something serious break out, like a civil war or a devastating pandemic. Oh, civil background war includes time in the army and humanitarian work. The creator of this place is also military and studied at Harvard. If people, oh, wait, can we can we whoa. go back and take a look? At That's that? a lot of information. She said, in case of a civil war, they have armed guards ready to protect yeah, to, it? To, to, to shut it down from the public. So basically, armed guards will go out and protect this area in the wow. event of a pandemic or a civil war. Or a civil war. Civil war. Oh, I wonder who put that word in her head. Mm. <laughs> That's interesting. But take a look at this place. This, this is, is nice. Not, yeah, this it's is nice. Not your typical. Well, prepper, this is the CEO uh, shack right here. We got this figured out. <laughs> this is their master quarters. Yeah, yeah, you got your foosball table, your dartboard, um, nice little sitting a telescope. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Some of the furniture is a little outdated but you know when you're well when you're on lockdown you don't care about what's in style this is just coming in west virginia is 30 years behind <laughs> on everything so this is this is hot 80 stuff coming in right now yeah. and they're just now in 83 so just think about <laughs> that's right um yeah right. that's pretty nice mm-hmm. all right let's continue I, I, I that was weird the civil war <laughs> armed guards Work. The creator of this place is also military and studied at Harvard. Harvard. People don't cooperate and, and it really starts to get out of hand because the economy tanks. And everybody's out of work and then at one another's throats. Well, that's why a place like this exists. Well, you can get away from that. On site, Wait, I'm confused. Room. Okay, pause. So, so what he's saying is we've built your combine. You just got to come pay for it? It sounds like it's membership driven. Yeah, they mentioned members a couple yeah. of times. Okay. So I think if you're a member of this, you can come as a safe haven. Then you you're can. able to come in and enjoy this safe haven in the event of a yeah. thermonuclear war. Or, or something. <laughs> right. so, yeah. I wonder how much membership is, mm-hmm. and once there's you know the world goes to shit and it's all going to hell. What good is your money anymore? You gotta have a skill. Yeah. So what's your skill gonna they be? They probably they're probably pre. 
you know. Yeah. You, you have to be able to do something. Like, I, they wouldn't let me in because I'm now a you're, stupid you're, comedian. You're done. <laughs> I yeah. don't have a skill. <laughs> you're, uh, you're not I mean, in. Right. I mean, we might could get you up there and let you dance around a little bit or something. <laughs> okay. Play some old Georgia Lighten satellites. the mood. Maybe it's good for you know, your mental sweet, stability You need some entertainment after six okay. or eight months of that. Maybe that. Can you like a court gesture? Yeah, that's it. I'm a clown. <laughs> John the gesture. He'll be performing tonight at 730. Well, at the, hey. If that's at the Fortitude it, Compound. That's it takes for me to survive. <laughs> I'll put the stupid but, shoes on yeah. and the rubber nose. <laughs> I just want to live, man. <laughs> right? If you want to watch the whole version, the entire episode, click on this little square right here. Or if you just want to subscribe and watch them later, click on that little bubble right there. And thank you.